Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, this is actually where it starts to get fun for me. Where it actually starts to come together. You know, the stuff getting done and uh, progress is being made. So today I want to work on the rear hubs for this machine. Got some work to do there. And these here are uh, laser cut parts that I had made up. I got a whole bunch of them made up. Turns out I could get these, these cut on a laser for about a buck seventy a piece. So uh, why am I, uh, you know, trying to torture myself with a disc grinder when I can just, you know, get a, get a whole pile made up. So anyways, yeah, we're going to go, uh, I got them over here on the other side of the shop and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So these are uh, Player Sportsman 700 hubs and they are, uh, they have like pretty small mounting bolts here. See on the top here, like that is pretty small and this is, I think this is a 3 8 and this is, this may be, well it may be a 16th of an inch smaller than that yet. So I want to upgrade everything to half inch back here. So what I'm doing here is, uh, let's pull this guy right off of here. And I'll show you, I'll show you what they have from factory. This just all comes apart. So there's a big opening in the top there. So what I did is I got some bushings made up, see, and uh, there's a half inch hole on the inside and uh, the, the outside is just a, just, a, just a nice fit in there. So this one I already have inserted, so you can see how that looks. So now I have half inch bolts on the top, and, uh, but then I still got the, uh, the little 3 8 bolts on the bottom. And this is just a threaded piece in here. There's a big, big chunk of aluminum that it just threads the bolt right into. So what I want to do today is I just want to drill these right out and tap them to a half inch hole. And then I got a half inch mount top and bottom. So that's, that's today's project. Hey, so I was also going to give you guys a bit of an update on the hardware here for the A-arms once I've got them constructed. So I already showed you guys this, you know, the laser cut parts. I got a whole bunch of a box of stuff here but so what I want to use is three quarter inch rod ends here's one here so a three quarter inch shaft and it's also got a three quarter inch opening so the shaft size I really you know I like that because it's uh, big and beefy I think it's going to be strong enough but time will tell but uh, the opening is a little excessive for, for me I think I'm just going to reduce that down to half inch so I got some bushings made up and here I've already got a bushing inserted, so it's reduced down. But I, at least I've got the beefy three-quarter inch, you know, shaft here. So these are, uh, this is seamless tubing, DOM, and I believe that is for drawn over mandrel. So it, uh, it's, it's uh, the construction process in the tubing. So these are uh, weld-in bungs that I want to use. I got a whole pile of them. I got, I got left hand and right hand thread along with rod ends that are left and right. So uh, the top arms, I want to make them adjustable so that I can turn them and uh, make a difference there. So these bungs, see they just insert, they just insert into this tubing really nice. And then I can weld them around and then I can just thread in my rod ends. That is, that's just so slick. You know, for a project like this, you know, going with rod ends, I think that's the only way to go. But, uh, Anyways, yeah, so same thing at this end, a bunch of laser cut parts here. So let's head out to the workbench and see what kind of trouble we can make there. Okay, so here's the plan. Now normally, when I've done this before, when I drill out a hole so that I can tap it for a bigger thread, I, I don't really fight with the drill to try and line it up. I kind of let the hole itself be a guide for the bit. So according to my fancy chart here, I got, so I want to drill, so I want a half inch bolt, so according to the chart I need a 7 16 drill bit. So I already got that in there, so you guys can sit on the tripod and I'm going to drill a hole. What's 
what's happening is it coming through there hey so I'm gonna show you what's probably my best Christmas gift ever so uh, big tap and die set from uh, Canadian Tire so I got this from the wife about 10 years ago and uh, the reason she knew exactly what I wanted was because I told her and uh, pretty rare that a woman knows what a man wants but uh, you know sometimes maybe you just got to tell her but uh, yeah really handy and uh, back here yeah that's where I keep all my that's where all the junk is piled okay got my half inch coarse thread tap so we can give her just gonna start it and I'm gonna put a little bit of lube in there Ooh, that started nice right away got a nice catch Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of put a lube in there. Okay, give her. I don't like to go the entire distance right away. I back it off a bit and get some of the some of the debris out of there. That's yeah, got a good bite in there. Should be some nice thread. So I'll pull this out and slide a bolt in there. How come you guys always get the best seat in the house? Sitting there on your tripod. Okay, half inch bolt. Hey, so I gotta show you guys this. I got myself a Kenda ice tire. And by itself, it's not really an ice tire at all. But the secret is, it's got all those knobs on there and they're close together. And each knob has room for four screws. So it's gonna have like way more traction than the tire that I used last year. So if we compare this tire to the Kenda, so you can see, you see the difference. Look at the big gaps here between the knobs. Here I only had room for two screws per knob and then there's a big gap, you know, and then like how are you supposed to get any traction? So this year I'm just gonna just pile that tire full of screws and uh, and I think I'm gonna like it. Well, that didn't turn out so bad. So I got all four done here. And it turns out that the uh, original bolts, the bottom ones were 7 16 You can see the size difference there. And the top ones were 3 8 so, anyways, I think that's enough for our video for today.